Hey everyone, in today's video, I am going to show you System Center 2019 Orchestrator. In this tool, what we are going to do is uh, basically we are going to uh, run some tasks uh, as per daily basis, and it is going to you know run those tasks as per the desired date and time. And we are going to you know basically provision the users um, in uh, let's say in LDAP or in Active Directory and then um, as well as in the call manager. So let me explain more about it. What I'm trying to do here is, so uh, let me first show you uh, the database here. So basically I have a database here, which says like, uh, okay, the employee ID, user ID, first name, last name, employee email, date of joining, date of leaving, region, country, state, city. So you can leave this three part at this moment. I'm not going to use in as part of today's video uh, because I'm not I'm not prepared anything for this particular uh, IP phone, telephone number, mobile number. Maybe down the line, I'll do something with this field. But at this moment, I'm going to just utilize these fields in order to provision the users. <laughs> So uh, what will happen is like my system uh, uh, orchestrator tool, uh, let's say it runs every midnight around like, uh, let's say uh, one o'clock, uh, maybe or 1.15 a.m. at every midnight. And what it is going to check is if any user who is going to join on today's date, uh, so it will provision that particular user. So for example, let's say uh, if you look here, uh, this guy, uh, Avinash or uh, let's say Nikita or you know uh, this guy Ravikant has joined uh, on the past dates so which means this guy has joined on 15th of April this guy has joined on 21st of May and this guy has joined on 16th of uh, April but this guy Sujish is going to join on 22nd of May so which means like it is going to check uh, who is going to join today and uh, whoever is joining today. So it is going to provision the user based on the location that they belong to. Now, the second thing which I wanted to show you is this particular uh, uh, information like where I have kept in the uh, telephony ranges for um, both the sides. For example, let's say I have in, in my example, I am using two sides. So one is uh, Bangalore one is New Delhi. So I'm going to use this two site as a testing. So what I'm saying here is um, any user who is joining from uh, Bangalore, his extension should be in the range between 20,001 to 20,999. 29, and this is the DID range. So I'm not going to play with the DID range at this moment, but I'm just going to play with the internal range and the partition CSS device pool and location they belong to. So uh, this is what I have fed in in the database and any user who is from the New Delhi, his extension is going to be 10,001 to 10,999. And this is going to be the partition CSS device full and location. So I have prepared this list already. And now let me do one thing. Let me make a small modification here. And then I'll make two users uh, uh, join the organization or three users join the organization as part of the testing today. So let me edit a SQL. Okay, so let me modify. Uh, let, let's say uh, Ravi is uh, joining on 21st. So let's make some modification like Ravi is going to join on 22nd because I've not provisioned any users at this moment. Uh, so let me make Ravi also join on 22nd and let Nikita also join on 22nd. I'll make this modification as well. So what will happen is uh, when the system sees like there are uh, three guys going to join today, it is going to provision uh, these three users uh, uh, as per today's date and time. So today when we are going to uh, run this demo, these three users should get provision as part of the uh, call manager services. Okay, let me execute this. Okay, so data has been saved. So now as part of today's testing, uh, these three users uh, should um, be able to, you know, get provisioned um, in the uh, uh, call manager. Okay, 
Now let's talk a little bit about uh, system orchestration tool. So this is a basically a system orchestration tool which I'm using as part of today's testing. So basically what I'm doing here is basically I'm uh, you know uh, doing some query on the database and see who's going to join today. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a uh, valid DID or uh, availability ID from the call manager which is not in use. And then I'm going to create a user in the uh, active directory and then you know generate a password for that particular user uh, it, it, it will be a random password and then I'm going to you know also enable uh, the mailbox for that user and then after, finally I'm going to you know send an email uh, for that particular user I'm going to send an email uh, that okay this is your username this is your password and this is your credentials so basically I'm going to send the credential to the admin as well as the user though the user is joining for the first day uh, on the organization the user will not be doing the credential but the admin will have this credential and user will be also copied in the CC so admin can always you know look into the email and send the user about the credentials okay and then apart from this I'm also uh, going to you know assign uh, the UC services so as soon as the user is uh, added into the active directory I'm going to create a user um, voicemail as well as uh, a Java account for the user and associate it and uh, send an email uh, to the user okay this is your um, this is going to be your uh, Java account this is how you need to log in and this is uh, your voicemail pin all right so uh, let me show you like uh, uh, what are the configuration that I can uh, that is available in the call manager okay so if I uh, show you the call manager here there is no user provision with uh, CSF so I'm going to basically provision the two chamber account and the Java will be provision for these three users so at this moment if you see on uh, there is only one user provision that is a Kanani other than that uh, there is no other users now if I have to show you the LDAP also so uh, I'm, I'm in the end user there is only one user at this moment uh, which is uh, which is again uh, disabled LDAP, LDAP synchronized user so which means that the user might have been deleted recently but uh, other than that uh, all the three users whom we are going to do uh, I mean as part of the testing right they're not uh, configured here and now if I go you and show the unity connection so in the unity connection also uh, we don't see uh, those users to be available here all right so what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to run this orchestration tool and uh, make sure like um, the automation takes kicks in so I'm going to schedule this for uh, let's say uh, midnight 010 let's see what's the time right now so I'm going to schedule this for 0108 finish check in sorry this system is a little slow so I'll make it to 01010 this is taking some time then check in again okay so now what I'll do is I'll go to the run book here and then start run book select the server and start so what will happen is as soon as uh, the time kicks in right uh, 01 uh, 010 uh, it'll start you know provisioning the user so let's wait for another um, 10 more seconds and see if uh, it starts kicking in the configuration okay So it is going to run uh, this task now. So meanwhile, I'll show you like uh, uh, this was as part of the testing, it seems. Um, so I'll remove this for now so that I can show you what uh, 
it looks like when a user is created what does it show you okay so you'll get an email uh, when the users are provisioned with Java or uh, you know as you see right so we got three emails right now this three users have been created on the active directory so if you see here like it is said like okay Ravikant has been created in active directory and this is the password so it is sent an email to um, myself as being the admin and Ravikant is in the CC so likewise if you see here for Nikita also it is created three um, it is created the user account along with the password and for Sujisha as well it has created this uh, email address and this is the password so once these users are created now what it is going to do is it, it is going to you know uh, provision these users on the call manager but before that it is going to make sure like uh, the LDAP is synchronized and uh, it will take some couple of minutes for the LDAP to synchronize and then it is going to provision the users so what I'm going to do is I'm uh, not going to uh, run this video and uh, wait for three minutes I'll resume this video once the three minutes are over okay so our three minutes are going to be over anytime soon so let's wait for uh, them uh, for the uh, you know LDAP to sync properly and accounts to get created so meanwhile I'll tell you about this uh, system orchestration tool basically this is a workflow management tool which you can use you know to create the automation monitor or you know deploy any kind of uh, resources in your environment all right so let's wait for a couple of more uh, one more minute and see if we get the user account uh, created in the call manager or not so we should get an email on that let's wait for him yep. if you see there uh, three emails uh, I mean have uh, we have received three more emails so where it says like we have provisioned telephony services for you now you can use just Cisco Jabber to make receive call please follow the below steps in order to log in to Cisco Jabber so if you notice like it says gives you the steps it says okay for this is for Ravi Khan so in order to log in you can use Ravi Khan R Khan that you see collabing.com and this is going to be your, you have to use your Windows password now for Windows password we have already created a Windows password so Ravi Khan can use this password in order to log in and then uh, the extension that has been assigned to Ravi Khan is 10001 and the voicemail pin is this and in case if uh, Ravikant has any difficulties, Ravikant can contact this support. Likewise for Nikita, if you see, so extension 20001 was the sign, and this is something like um, voicemail pin was set as random. Let's see for um, Sujish. So Sujish 20002 is a sign, and this is a voicemail pin. So if you notice, right, so it has automatically chosen um, uh, Sujish or uh, Nikita right uh, their extension from the call manager and for Ravi Khan also it has chosen the extension automatically from the call manager so let's see the configuration in the call manager now so first let's verify if the users are created in unity so if you see here Nikita is created Sujish is created and Ravi Khan is also created now let's go and see the call manager let's see in the end user so Nikita is there Ravikant is there and Sujish is there. Let's see one user if uh, we'll see if the Jabber is associated properly or not. So if I go here down, okay, home cluster is checked and enable user for the I'm in presence checked and the user has been associated to this Jabber on the control device and allow CTF control devices checked and primary extension of the user is checked. And this is something that comes from the LDAP, so we don't have to worry about this. Okay, so this is this is going to be the same for all the three remaining two users. Now let's verify the Java profile. So I'll show you one Java profile. So if you see here, uh, for Sujish, right? So Sujish has been uh, uh, a Java profile has also been created for Sujish, and this is how does it look like? And as we know, like Sujish was from the uh, Bangalore location so let's see that so if you notice here right uh, Sujish Sujish is from Bangalore 
and only Ravi was from New Delhi. So we'll see Ravi if Ravi is uh, deployed with a New Delhi configuration or not. So this is the device pool we have got. This is the CSS location and the owner user, user ID is tag to Sujish and remaining all configuration are standard. So let's verify the line. So if you see here line, we have got the proper information on the line along with uh, the ASCII alerting name and whatnot. Voicemail profile, CSS, and if I go here, all these uh, options are checked and uh, all the CSS has been assigned for this user. And finally, the display caller ID. And yes, so this is about Sujish. Let's see for Ravikant. So Ravikant is part of Delhi. So if you see here, uh, Ravikant has been assigned with Delhi device full, Delhi CSS, right? And if I have to show you the line partition, so Ravikant is in uh, Delhi uh, line partition. So uh, this is uh, what we can, you know, uh, make use of uh, Windows system um, uh, center 2019 orchestration tool and this is how we can you know provision the user if you are interested to learn more about like how we can use uh, this workflow management tool system center 2019 orchestration do uh, let me know in the comments uh, if i get more uh, uh, people asking for the uh, training i'll definitely uh, look forward to you know provide some training on this all right i hope you like this video thank you for watching